All right. Hope you all had a great weekend and had a chance to do some solar sizing. Last week, we talked about the immune system, how important it is that we stay as healthy as we possibly can with a lymphatic and immune system that is, has the ability to effectively work to help keep us healthy and strong rather than having to fight against an illness, and sometimes we have to do that. It's better if we can improve the ability of our health by improving the ability of our immune system. We know through Dr. Arthur C. Guyton's book, Medical Physiology, that by running as fast as we can on a solar sizer for up to one minute, we can increase the number of active white blood cells in our body by 10 to 15 times, and they can stay there up to one hour. So if we have the opportunity a few times a day of being able to do that activity, just run really, really fast for up to a minute, we can pull out an army of our defense mechanisms to go after any viruses or germs that we may have been exposed to. Our, our, our objective is to not get sick. If we do, we can still improve the immune system through cellar size. If we can keep our immune system at a heightened level, there's a good chance we can pass through without even getting sick. And if we do, it might be more mild because our immune system is going to be more active. So I think it's very, very important in these, these days right now. Get on that solar sizer and let your friends and your family, the people that you know about, experience it and, and feel the difference in, in their own life and their own health. Okay, so if you have your solar sizers out at the end of tonight's program, I'm going to go through and we're going to talk about toning and how to tone the arms more, how to tone the stomach more, how to tone the chest and cavity. And I want, I want you to please write in now, if you can, some of the things or areas of the body you would like me to focus on. And I will show you some of the different approaches that we can take on the solar sizer. Christine wasn't able to make it tonight. We wish her the best. Christine and Carrie, Carrie, her husband is here, they're having a grandbaby, a little girl, and she's in the process of having that baby right now. So we're very, very fortunate, I feel very fortunate, to have um, Carrie here with me um, and with you to, to help support this program. So he is going to take down the notes of the things that you would like me to address tonight. But what I'd like to do is start off by sharing some of these incredible customer reviews that keep coming in. And again, many of you have heard me say that when they asked me my business plan, they said, who is your target audience? And I said, people. And of course, they laughed and they said, no, you need to narrow your audience. And many of you heard me say, no, you need to broaden yours. Because I truly, honestly believe every household, every home, every person needs and should have a seller sizer. They just don't know it yet. So it's up to all of us to continue to spread the message. And these customer reviews are helping. So I want to encourage you, if you have a review, if you have something you've noticed, please write in, share it with us so we can share it with others and we can keep this, this promotion of health moving forward. All right. So this is from Christina. She says, hey, Solar Size family, it's been six months of fun Solar Sizing with you all. I have been posting my minutes on this wonderful Facebook group, and I am not stopping. I love to Solar Size. I must say that the Solar Sizer does its job to perfection, working every body part, just sharing what happened to me. My hubby and I started back at his favorite old school, Olympic lifting gym, we got busy in life and the kids, and guess what? I fit right in, like we never left. The gym owner was puzzled and came to me personally asking if I had been working out four days a week at home. He said to me that my biceps and triceps had muscle. We were away for six months. 
I became a complete shock. It became a complete shock explaining to him, well then, it must be my cellar-sizer trampoline working my muscles to the core because I haven't lifted anything heavy ever since. And the funniest thing is, my hubby chimes in and says, she does her bouncing every day. I really don't, more like four days a week. The story is, sometimes we can't see the results ourselves, but it's visibly there. Keep on cellar sizing. All right, Christina. You know, and it's, it's really neat because Wade Lightheart, uh, Wade McNutt, um, he goes by Wade Lightheart now. He, um, he did bodybuilding as a competitive sport and the cellar sizing, and he tells you it improved his ability to perform in such a short period of time, winning national championships in his, in his league. And he's amazing. Um, we've had this many times, people that have been, you know, uh, he was a seventh or eighth degree black belt and was the, um, the dean at the Thunderbird Academy in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And I met him years ago. And he had some health issues and was being advised by his doctors that he couldn't do weightlifting and some of the strenuous activities that he'd been previously doing. He started to cellar size. And for months afterwards, for years afterwards, I would get a note from him saying, I haven't lost anything. He had to give up the standard program of tearing down to build up and weightlifting and whatnot. But he, he cellar sized and absolutely amazed him that he himself was able to continue to compete, was able to have a strong, healthy body. And in his words, he said, I, I haven't lost anything. Cellar size is weight bearing. So whatever you've built in your body, as you apply weight, you help retain that. That's what cellar size can do. After eight years, the cellar size are still going strong. Great investment, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. This gentleman, man, he's, he's an inspiration to me. Because when I met him, and you've heard me talk about him, Robert, Robert Gent, he was a semi-professional athlete in the 70s, won numerous awards. When I met him, his knees were a mess, his back was hurting him, he couldn't compete. And he was frustrated. So I, I worked with him on the cellar size. I shared, we spent probably a couple hours together. He took the program to heart Three and a half months later, he goes out for the Senior Games pentathlon, wins first place in all of North America, considered the best on the, on the continent. In his 60s, he leg pressed 880 pounds. And then he writes me a beautiful letter with some of the uh, um, newspaper clippings of him holding the medals and the captions, which said, best on the continent. And he says, David, it's been absolutely miraculous the positive influence that your trampoline has had on my body. I've tried every strength, plotty, stretching routine available, and nothing like your tramp has helped me to get my muscle and joint health back. He and his wife are sold. He said they were sold on what we created. Well, here's another letter from him, and I wanted to share this one. It says, Dave, your invention, in many ways, made all this possible, as the cellar sizer has been a big part of enabling me to overcome crippling muscle pulls and joint aches and pains by eliminating the ground running to a large degree and training for the long jump, for the high jump, the discus, the javelin, the 100 meter, all on this cellar sizer. The, the Manti Temple was a big part of my life when I went through my, those are some personal things, but he goes by Buck and he says, you know, it made the difference and I thank him for, for sharing that. Okay. I ordered my cellar sizer around two months ago, and since the moment I got it, I started jumping on it. In the beginning, my back hurt so much. And when you get on a cellar sizer, it's not like jumping on the ground. But if you have a weakness or a condition, cellar size is intense. It still creates G-forces. So we don't want to start off intense, otherwise it can set us back a little bit. So there's approaches on the cellar sizer that address knee issues, hip issues, back issues, shoulder issues, uh, digestion elimination issues, they're all different movements, and, but they're different. If you start off too intense, it may take a little bit longer to, um, to overcome. But he goes on, he says, 
I have back problems, so started off with 10 minutes, then increased to 20, and now I do an hour or more. Sometimes I do an hour. While I continue practicing, my lower back is getting better. It still hurts, but not as much as the first week. That was the main reason I bought the, this excellent product. I love it. I read all about the benefits, and I'm hoping to get fit and tone and lose weight by continuing jumping on the solar sizer. I just want to thank you for such a wonderful product, a solar sizer lover, Luz. And thank you, Luz. I appreciate that. So our approach is, again, we take on the solar sizer that are designed to open up the vertebral joints, increase circulation to the disc, strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the back. If we're not getting enough circulation to the disc of the back, and you've heard me sh share this, the disc, like a sponge without water, can shrink, putting more pressure on the nerves. So by opening up the back, pumping circulation, and then increasing that circulation to those discs through those different movements that we teach, we can help imbibe the disc with more synovial fluid, taking pressure off the nerves, and helping to strengthen the supporting muscles um, that support the vertebral joints as well. And again, there's different approaches. So consult with your doctor or health provider if you need to, and feel free to have them give me a call if there's any questions. I wanted to read this one. It's a little long, but it has many elements in it, which I was very impressed with. So bear with me, because this, she's, she's amazing. She puts it together beautifully. My cellar size experience has been wonderful and a godsend. I've always been an athlete and was a, a cer certified personal trainer until my late 20s. I've always taken care of myself and ate well, but everything started to change in my late 30s and things that I've always done stopped working. I started getting cellulite even though I was thin. And in 2008, I started having severe abdominal pain and edema. The doctors could not help me or identify what was causing the symptoms. Through the years, I would find things that would work a bit temporarily, but nothing helped long term. Then I started rebounding, but it hurt, so I could not understand why people said this was good for them. Remember, there's a difference in rebounders. So I started to do my research, and then I noticed better sleep almost right away. The nighttime health bounce to relax the entire body really works. She's on a solar sizer now. One night I could not sleep and realized I forgot to bounce before bed. I got up at 1.30 a.m., bounced for two to three minutes, went back to bed, and the next thing I remember is waking up the next morning. I can't tell you how many times I've done that very same thing. Thanks, Holly, for sharing that. I've had chronic neck and back pain for as long as I can remember and would often wake up in the morning with pain in these areas. After about a week, I noticed I was no longer waking up with any pain. I still get pain some days as the day goes on, but all I have to do is get on the cellar sizer for a few minutes and once again, the pain is gone and I'm good to go. I also have irritable bowel syndrome and bloating and gas can come on when I least expect it. As soon as I feel any discomfort, which can be as bad as a sharp pain through my upper back and shoulder, I get on the cellar sizer for a few minutes, sometimes 10 to 15 if it's really bad, and most if not all of the discomfort is gone. That's a common problem today. You know, with all the dead processed foods we eat and all the different additives and preservatives and chemicals and, and it, it's in addition to the, the lack of good digestive enzymes, this is a common occurrence. Getting on the cellar sizer and gently moving up and down, doing a gentle twist, it's helped people with indigestion. It helps people with irritable bowel syndrome. I've had some incredible written incredible written customer reviews about people who really believe that their, their entire digestion and elimination process has started working wonderfully again through the just one of the techniques we teach which is the twist. I'm hoping that over time my symptoms will lessen and go away altogether. I've had these issues for eight years so I'm sure it's going to take some time. During my third week of cellar sizing I cannot believe I was re regaining my energy about two to three weeks of constantly moving up and down, the cells working, the mitochondria starts to increase, and as it increases, our energy level begins to soar. Each day, I notice more energy, clarity of mind, focus, and find it easier to remember names and information that I would, not, that I would normally forget right away. And what do we say? When we move up and down, we, move, we help to increase circulation through the blood vessels, through the capillaries, to the brain, 
through the pumping action. I also notice I can concentrate better and articulate my message better during conversations. This is truly amazing as I've struggled for years with these brain fog type issues. I had my hip pulled out of the socket 19 years ago while giving birth <coughs> to our second daughter. And I've never completely went back, it never completely went back into place. <coughs> I've had my hip after, <coughs> after a few days of doing the pendulum swing, the bounce, my left hip popped back into place and my right pulled groin loosened up and stopped hurting. So what she's talking about is this, this movement right here. The lower back exercise helps relieve my back pain from my lordosis and mild scoliosis. I am laughing and enjoying life more all without the need for stimulants. I know I have a long way to go, but seeing improvements here and there give me hope that someday I'll be pain-free and healthy once again. Thank you for creating the Cellar Sizer, the best rebounder mini trampoline on the market. Because of how the Cellar Sizer has improved my health, life, and families, I want to tell everyone at work and tell every household and office has at least one Cellar Sizer. Holly, I should hire you. Thank you for letting me be a part of the cellar size movement. And I could not think of a better calling other than parenthood than helping others look and feel their best. God bless, Holly. God bless you, Holly. Thank you. I'm sure that's made a difference. And hopefully that will influence some others to just experience it. Just try it. My cellar sizer brought me back to health. Three and a half months ago, I had a horrendous bike accident, which left me, this is recent, which left me with a brain concussion, cracked face, shoulder, hip, and pelvis. After two and a half weeks in the physical therapy floor of the hospital, I came home using a walker. I started on my tramp just sitting and raising my legs. I gradually increased adding standing and adding baby bounce. After three and a half months, my balance and vision have returned. My doctors have been amazed at my recovery, which normally takes six to eight months. I still have some hearing loss, which may not correct, but my body feels back. Hooray for my cellar sizer. Thank you, David. And we're going we're gonna to stop there. But, um, you know, people think, how can you do it in just 10 minutes a day? Well, you've seen how intense we can be, and it's not the amount of time that matters. It's, it's how the cells are challenged within the amount of time. Cellar size is weight bearing, it's not weight lifting, and so 10 minutes is on every single muscle all at the same time. That's a lot more intense than if you work one part of the body and put weight on another part of the body, etc. You're put, putting weight on every single muscle all at the same time. So 10 minutes is generally too much for most people to begin with. But I don't know of anything that can help people improve their physical fitness, health, and, and energy faster than the cellar sizer. I've been doing it 30 years. I've had hundreds and hundreds of, of written customer reviews and testimonials. I'm thankful for them. And my, my passion, my desire is to help you feel more physically fit and to be able to enjoy a better quality of life. I'm 63 years of age. But guys, I don't act it, I don't feel it, and I haven't slowed down. So something about this is working because I'm behind my desk all day long, but I get my 10 minutes of cellar sizing in every day and that, that makes a difference. Okay, if you have questions, call me. I'm happy to answer them. If your doctor wants to call me, I'm happy to talk with your doctor. There's so many different approaches we can take with this. Okay, Suzanne writes, how long and how intense of a workout on the cellar sizer should I do before bed, seeking to rest better? Okay, <clears throat> if you have a lot of stress and tension in the body, you can start off very similar to what they do with meditation. And what we're going to do in a few minutes for um, tightening and toning, by the way, is you tense your body up. Just tense everything you can. And then bounce for a moment. And then relax. And you may do it a couple of times. But when you relax, 
If you put your fingertips straight down and focus on the tips of your finger until you can feel a throbbing, you just feel the throbbing, the pressure changes. And if you have to do it again, do it again, but get to the point where you can feel that. And then just gently relax <clears throat> your shoulders, your back, your buttocks. Just relax everything. If you have to hold on to the bar, go ahead and do it. Just relax. Do this for about two to three minutes. And then go to bed. Don't go do something else, unless you have to go to the bathroom or something. But, but don't go focus on something else. Just go to bed. We do the same things when babies are fussy. It's just a gentle movement up and down. The baby relaxes. Well, this is, that's the baby bounce. <clears throat> okay, Christina writes, how could I train for a 10K run race on the Solarcizer? Is there a measurement for miles? Oh, Christina, we've got a lady which you wouldn't believe she's getting ready to run a, an Ironman. I was just talking about her the other day with somebody else that um, she just shared the solar sizer with because she had incredible results. We're going to have to have her somehow or another on the program because she has done all of her training at bus stops, or not bus stops, truck stops, because she's on the road for 70 hours a week, she says, and she'll pull to a truck stop and... Um, take out her solar sizer and she does her running and her training on the solar sizer and then she goes out for these incredible competitions I I may have shared a picture oh I did not not here I've got I've got a picture of her she sent me some pictures she's in excellent shape she's approaching 60 I think and and she's just <laughs> remarkable what she's accomplishing on the solar sizer so you take the amount of time that would take you to do a 10k and you just break it up you want to do as intense or a little more intense on the cellar sizer. So whatever that time is, do it on the, the cellar sizer. You'll be able to go a little harder on the cellar sizer because you have springs. You don't have a pounding, jarring effect. So you can go ahead and push yourself harder. If you do interval training to build up the, the uh, mitochondria and to build up your, your oxygen or your lungs and lung capacity and capillaries, then do intervals of, of intensity um, while you, and then, and then just keep jogging. So in other words, if you are, you're running for a marathon and then you decide, okay, I'm gonna run fast. You do that for a few moments and then go back to just jogging and then go back to the intensity again. You'll get, and then when you do your competition just see the results you can't do that on the ground but you can do it on a cellar sizer okay Cherie writes if we tighten our muscles for example squeeze our buttocks really hard and hold our stomachs in hard while we are cellar sizing will this help to tighten those areas or should we just stay relaxed for tightening? <laughs> I think you knew what I was going to be talking about today, Sherry. Sherry, um, you're on the right track. That was exactly right. If you tighten those muscles, it becomes an isometric for toning. When you bounce and they're tightened, it becomes an isotonic for building. So you have toning and building. And when you're doing that, you've got all the cells working and the muscles are, are working harder too. So this going to tighten and tone the muscles and the weight bearing activity is going to help build them so that they're stronger because you're putting more weight against the cell membrane over and over as you're bouncing. You're putting stress on the cell membrane when you're holding. But when you apply more weight to it, the cell responds by fortifying its membrane with more protein to compensate for the weight because it doesn't want to rupture. So that's exactly right. Very good. She's got some insights there. If you listen to your body, the body often will just tell us what we need to do. What is the difference between the two bars that come with the solar sizer? Okay, this is our streamlined bar. It's a good bar. It's a little easier to turn from it and do exercises, you've got a little bit more space on the cellar sizer, but it's there if you want to hold on to it. The half fold, 
or the original balance bar looks like this. They both work. You can still use them. But the, uh, the half fold is going to take up a little bit more space on the solar sizer. If you want, if you have a half fold balance bar or the bigger balance bar, which came originally even with the trifold, you can upgrade it to the streamlined balance bar without having to buy a whole new balance bar. Just call my office and you can get just this piece right here at a lot less money. <laughs> And you can turn your, I call it the original balance bar, into this new streamlined balance bar. You just need this top piece. And we make that top piece available. So if you're interested, you can do that. But as far as performance, they're both going to work. Okay. Masanja writes, what exercises should be done on the solar sizer? Okay, I want to encourage you to go to our website and take a look at sellersize.com forward slash exercise. If you go to forward slash exercises, you'll see a whole list of different exercise movements that you can do on the seller sizer. Jerry writes, I've started a new job where I need more arm muscles to do some lifting of heavy bags. What seller size workout should I do to build my triceps and biceps? Okay. These questions are perfect for tonight. We're going to show you. Irene, I would love to improve chronic kyphosis in forward head posture and rounded shoulders caused by multiple thoracic spinal fractures from osteoporosis. Also, my shoulder blades stick out because of my poor posture. I've been doing some of the posture exercises that Dave has shown us, but I don't seem to be making any positive progress. I sell up size approximately 20 to 50. 25 minutes every morning and most afternoons. I managed to do another 15 to 20 minutes. Happily over the past three days or so, I have managed to do the back leg kick, not as refined as Dave's version, and can usually only manage about 30 to 40 seconds at a time. That's fine. So I'm hoping that building up my lower back muscles might help my posture as well. I can tell you a story. <clears throat> I was sharing it with somebody earlier today. We have a customer who has a closet that uses those mirror doors, sliding doors, and she had gotten a cellar sizer and she also had some curvature in her back, some scoliosis, and um, not real good posture. Well, as she cellar sized over the months that she did it, remember this is weight bearing on these muscles as we move up and down. These muscles help hold up our posture. The skeletal system can't support itself. It's supported by the muscles and the ligaments. So as we're, as we're moving up and down, these muscles have a lot of weight on them. Instead of pushing the weight away from gravity, we're increasing the weight of gravity. It doesn't matter these muscles. Our body's either going to get shorter and shorter, it won't, or it's going to get stronger and stronger. And that's what it does. It gets stronger and stronger. So as we do it and we hold our shoulders back as best we can, it's an exercise. And don't overdo it. You don't want to pinch a, a nerve in the back. But as we just gently open up and bounce. These muscles are weightless weight, weightless weight. They can help move the skeletal system into a better position for holding and strengthening. Now, I work a lot with chiropractors and when a chiropractor makes an adjustment, the back is not used to that alignment. So the, the muscles have a tendency to pull it back out of alignment. So the chiropractors that I work with, when appropriate, they will actually have their patients get on the solar sizer after the adjustment and just gently bounce up and down so that the muscles that are tight, because they're not used to the new alignment, they are being massaged, gently massaged, so they loosen up and the muscles that are loose start to tighten up and it helps to expedite the, the heating process without pulling the back out of alignment. And we get a lot of chiropractors where this is a good adjunct to what they do. So other movements like just gently twisting, you got to be careful because you don't want to irritate a nerve. This is very gentle, but as I'm gently moving up and down, I'm taking pressure off, putting pressure on, off, on. So we're allowing more circulation 
between the vertebral joints and the back. And that can help promote movement. That helps the body to align itself because, again, you're not favoring one side of the body over the other when you subtle size. So if you're moving up and down equally, hips can literally move. They can drop. The back and the bones can move to support your natural alignment. Michael Little, sorry, Michael, Michael. <laughs> Hi, Dave and Christine. I would like to know how about the feet, what the feet are supposed to land, how the feet are supposed to land one day running, sprinting, or jogging. Does each foot land flat or heel to toe, toe to heel? Thanks in advance. All right. That depends on how you want to run. If you want to sprint, you're on the balls of your feet. That's, that's sprinting. If you're just going to do a long jog where you want to focus more on the stomach area, you can tilt. And as you tilt, you put the emphasis on the stomach wall. And this is how we help to strengthen and, and flatten the stomach. And that's a great exercise. So let's, let's talk now. Oh, yes, we got some questions. What were they? These are just the toning things. Yes. And? Outer and, an, outer and inner thighs. Outer and inner thigh. Thank you. All right, Carrie. So the outer and inner thigh. Strengthening the overall thighs here is just the jamba walk is excellent. To work the inner outer thigh, we can start by rocking side to side. Our hip will bend to the knee. This is working and you can put your hands and you will feel those. You're pushing down into the mat as you rock and that's really working both sides of the thighs. Stand, there's several we can do. Um, we start off easy. You don't have to start off advanced. Standing on one side, stepping over to the other and hopping side to side. That's working the hips and the thighs and the knees. So this is a good precursor for a ski season. And if you want to take it a little more advanced, then this one here is an excellent exercise also for the thighs. So those, those are some really good movements for the inner outer thigh. The outer thigh, another good one, is the one where you're kicking out side to side. When you do a leg lift for the obliques, and the, the thigh, this is all muscle that's lifting it. When you cellar size and do that, you're not just lifting the weight or the muscle away from gravity, you're also increasing the weight of gravity. In other words, doing it like this is putting a lot more weight here than just doing it like this. And the entire body is still working. How about abdominal, abdominal muscles? Abdominals, okay, let's talk. <laughs> There's several you can do. I, I, you know, again, I'm 63, guys, so I'm not what I was when I was in my 20s. But to, to tighten and build up the muscles, this builds up muscle. If you're doing a jog on a silver size, you can tilt backwards. On a, on a treadmill, you can't. Or any other modality, you really can't because it could hurt the back. So when, if you want to focus on this area, we can jog on a cellar sizer and then slightly tilt. The moment I tilt, all these muscles are tight because just by tilting, that's an isometric for toning. Now you're going to put weight on it for building. That's unique to cellar size. So just by tilting backwards and jogging, all these muscles. If you want to leverage more weight, then we tilt backwards and we kick our feet out in front of us. And that, uh, that's more intense than just doing a sit-up. A sit-up simply moving your body weight away from gravity. Cellar size doesn't just move it away from gravity, it also increases the weight of gravity. I think you're beginning to get, to get the idea. I, I'm sure I could tear down my stomach muscles to build them up more. But I don't have time, <laughs> and I don't have a desire. Um, this has worked fine for me, but it's just this one here. One, two, three, and just count, pull your toes up, and every time I come down, that's intense. For the obliques and the waist, again, kicking out side to side. So those, 
those are some basic ones. The more advanced ones you can see also on our video app, that's when you sit down and you target the stomach muscles. <clears throat> and that, excuse me, that's very intense. So you can start off by putting your hands next to your hips to help support your back. And then bouncing up and down, we're supporting our back, but the reason I'm moving is all right here. So you can do this watching TV. <laughs> And as you're watching TV, you're getting exercise. As you become stronger, you take away your hands. Your back's strong enough now, you can bounce all with the stomach muscles. As you continue to get stronger, then we show you the graduated movements. Tilting back a little bit, lifting up one leg, leverages more weight right there in the lower abdominals where everybody wants to work, especially women. When the leg gets tired, just lift up the other leg. When you become strong enough, you can lift up both legs. Bounce a little higher. The only reason I'm moving is because of those stomach muscles. Or going cheek to cheek. Or in and out. Or up and down. I don't know of, any, I don't know of anything that's going to be as effective. I mean, there's other things you can do, but... You don't need to. You can do it all on the cellar size if you want. How about saggy skin? Saggy skin. Okay. Skin. Seldom placed by collagen. Skin's a protein fiber. When you put weight on protein fibers, they start to become more resistant, tighter, firmer. To what degree? It, it varies based upon individuals. One of the challenges with rapid weight loss is that the, you can lose the weight, but the skin is not having time to draw in with the weight loss. That's why I encourage anybody who's on a diet or who's losing weight, and it would be wonderful on The Biggest Loser, absolutely wonderful, if as they're losing weight and doing their programs, if every day they also got on the cellar sizer and bounce up and down because now they're putting weight on the skin and the collagen to help it. it. A lot of it has to do with your elasticity and how much elasticity you still have. But the cellar size helps to increase circulation, flexibility, that's how we promote healing, and can help tighten and tone. I had a lady who literally called me up once and said, David, you saved me $7,000 on a facelift because the movement up and down helped to tighten your tone, and it does, and you can tell the difference when you don't cellar size, because things, I can tell the difference, things start to get looser. When you cellar size, they, they firm up. How about biceps, triceps, and back wings? Okay, we're going we're gonna to demonstrate that in a moment. And the only other one is upper chest. Okay, let's, we're going to let's go through those. All right, so, who was it, Christine? Um, Christina, the one who mentioned tightening and toning the whole body, tightening up the buttocks, and because she's right on. We want to get a full body toning activity. We do just that. We think and we connect with our body parts, and it takes a little bit of time. You'll do it the first time you think, "Oh, I got it," and no. then you do it again. Oh, I can tighten that. Oh, I can tighten that area, and it just grows, and so do your results. So when you start off, if you tense, you can tense your face, you can tense your neck, you can tense your shoulders, you can tense, you work your way down, chest, stomach, you know, you look like a board, right? Okay, you tense the body, and as you've got the body tensed, then you hold the position and bounce up and down. This movement here is taking an enormous amount of your, your body strength and it's, it's utilizing it from the inside out. That's one. Let's go and let's do it with uh, the bicep, the triceps, and the, what you call the bat wings. All right, so we know the curl, and this one here where you're, we count, and, and literally you can count, I count four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. The moment you're pushing down, you can see the difference. When you push down and pull up, it tightens. 
You're holding that and moving while you're increasing weight on the body. That's incredible. It's not tearing down to build up. You can do it every day, several times a day if you want. If you're lifting weight away from gravity over and over, you limit the effect only to the muscle doing the lifting. But when you're cellar sizing, you're, you're creating, you're lifting weight away from gravity while increasing the weight of gravity, and it's not just on this muscle. It's still on every single muscle in the body over 100 times a minute. Okay, so if you want to uh, work the back of the arms, if you take and cup your hands and then push down and pull up and bounce, if you can move it, great. You're going to work the shoulders a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Go gently to begin with until you get stronger to do it. But as you're moving up and down, do that. Do that for to the count of 20 if you can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're pushing down and pulling up. It's going to, if you have tight shoulders, you're going to feel it. So go easy. You may just hold it back there to begin with. And then when you're done with this one, switch the other arm. Do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then back and forth. So that's, that's going to help you out. For the chest area, and this is one that I was doing a little bit earlier today too. If you take your hands, because it can tighten the chest, which is great for men and women, is you take your hands, cup them together, <clears throat> pretend like you're doing you know, a muscle pose or something where they get all these muscles showing. You just lift your shoulders up a little bit, push in, and bounce. And do it to the count of 20 or 30. One, two, is what I do, three, four. So every two bounces counts as one. And push in. And really push. You can control the amount of effort by how hard you push or, or not. And so again, it's, it's hard to hurt yourself when you're not carrying loose weights. This is your weight. Okay, to strengthen the shoulders in the back, same thing. Take your hands, cup them together, arch your back a little bit, and pull. See, it's not just doing this. You're not just doing this. You're doing this and you're expanding and contracting muscles with more weight on them. You can't do that just on the ground. You're doing it on a cellar sizer and you're working all the areas of the body at the same time. So while you're doing this, as was mentioned earlier in one of our customer reviews, tighten the stomach, tighten the buttocks while you're bouncing up and down. Can you get a feel for that? That's going to work. And it's excellent. What was another one? Any? We got them? All right. Listen. Subtle size is fun. We want to keep it fun. We want to understand that it's also a journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every day. You know, subtle size, it is. It's fun. It's effective. It's efficient. It's safe. It's convenient. It's economical. It's portable. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's very few reasons why not, I believe, to sell or size. And if you have any concerns at all, if you have any questions, give me a call. Um, my joy, my absolute joy, I've got a great unit, no question. You know, I've put my heart and soul into the unit. But my real heart and soul is in you and helping you get results. That's my motivation. That's what makes coming to work for me fun is because I know I'm going to have an opportunity to help somebody improve the quality of their life. doesn't matter whether you're two years old, a year old, um, or well over a hundred years old. Cellular size helps improve balance, circulation, strength, energy, and we have many different approaches, as you know, to address many different areas of the body. So, have a good week, stay healthy, and keep cellarizing. I'll look forward to, oh, next week we're going to be closed. I guess it's President's Day, is that right? Okay, so um, some people are going to be gone, so we'll, we'll close.
We'll be closed that day. Um, but call me at the office if you need anything. We'll be here working. Um, and then we'll see you in two weeks. Until then, remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. Thank you.